Hey everybody, welcome back to another design tutorial and today we will be creating this cool uh, slider animation uh, in Adobe XD. Uh, see how cool it is, see how the levels kind of change like this uh, and you can just uh, scroll it back and again do it again. This is a really quick tutorial so it won't take long. Uh, so let's get started and um, I will be linking the Adobe XD uh, file down in the description so you can download it and start using it. So I'll start by creating um, a quick uh, artboard here and uh, I'll just make sure that it's as big as the one I've used here. Mm, that's, that's cool, that's cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first create a rectangle. Uh, we're gonna create the final uh, design first and then we're gonna move backwards. So, um, we're gonna just remove the border and we're gonna say uh, 200. <laughs> That's perfect. And I'm just gonna pick the color from my original design here. And that is absolutely perfect. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna create the lines which are represented here. Uh, that's fine. And I'm gonna say repeat grid here. And uh, I'm just gonna, okay. So what we have here is it's, it's kind of messy. So we have to make sure that there are five lines. So count five. And once it's done, you would just increase the space between these, just drag uh, these, uh, these pink spaces, so as to say. Uh, and uh, that is uh, perfect. Okay, and we're gonna right click and say ungroup grid. Yep, perfect. Uh, and then we are gonna paste, not paste it, but drag it in the middle. Uh, so it's even. And now uh, we're gonna just then adjust according to what we want and just put it in the middle again. Yeah, perfect. Now we will create the thinner lines here, which are the thinner levels, which show uh, any sort of progress. Uh, perfect, yeah. And we are gonna, again, press on repeat grid and just drag it. This is cool, yep, yep. Uh, and we're just gonna ungroup the grid and we're gonna Try and paste it in the middle. Yep, just put it in the middle. Well, I don't know why I keep saying paste, but okay. Um, try and put these in the middle of these and I'm just gonna visually try and put these in the middle. Perfect. And once again, perfect. So what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of these lines and we are gonna make sure first that first of all that they're all ungrouped. Um, and um, None of them are grouped here, that's perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of these and I'm gonna say add. This this is the add button. If I say add, this uh, Adobe XD will treat this whole element as one. Um, I'll show you in a minute why I wanna do that. And now that I've done this, I will change the color to a slightly darker, where, uh, you know, I'll just um, change the color to the same color as this. Yep, perfect. So that you can't see the levels like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another rectangle which is slightly bigger than this and I'm going to uh, make this white and I'm going to make this say 50% uh, 50 in opacity. Yep, perfect. That, that's how the, the whole white thing kind of works out here like this. And I am going to put it below this and select the, uh, all these rectangles and I'm going to go to object and say mask with shape. Um, now that I've said mask with shape, uh, I can put it here, just like that. Yep, uh, make sure that it's kind of centered here and perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna select these and I'm just gonna center them so that just it looks neater. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna create a circle for the slider handle. I'm just calling, calling it the handle and I'm just gonna create a shadow 12 24 that's my perfect uh you know balance shadow which i like to call it like that and i'm just gonna yep so now that the slider is uh, in place we're gonna create a base for this slider and there's gonna be there's gonna be like this uh, not too thick yeah perfect and we're gonna make sure that's the same color and just darken this color a little bit yep Be paste it below this and yeah Got it. And now we're gonna paste, uh, make another. I don't know why I keep saying paste again and again, so pardon me for that. Um, and I'm gonna 
make sure it's the same color as this and I am gonna connect it here and group these two together perfect um, now what I'm gonna do is um, just make sure, yeah okay so I am gonna quickly create or just bring in um, the level here I've just saved it as a symbol here and um, I'm just gonna group this first uh, yeah so um, I have to put this behind the slider so this should be below and we will keep increasing the height as we go and uh, that's done for this level and we're just gonna duplicate this artboard we're gonna say command D one two three four that, that's it four times um, this is 20% here we're gonna in, uh, bring this slider to the same place as the second. Uh, we're gonna select the white portion that we masked and we're gonna uh, bring it to the second uh, bigger rectangle. That's it. We're gonna bring the circle here so it's being dragged and we're gonna bring this uh, just at the center of the circle and just put it slightly higher. And I'm gonna change this to 40%. Okay, and we'll do the same with uh, all of these. We're just going to increase them by 20, 20%, and we'll bring it to the end. I'm going to quickly skip so that you don't have to see the entire freaking process, and you can do it on your own. Okay, so I'm back again, and uh, we have everything in place, and we've done everything. We've done from 20% till 100%, and we've just increased uh, the height of this, or you can just pull it up like this. Uh, you get my point. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to also create a starting position, which is a 0% uh, slider. We're just going to copy this uh, over here. And what we're going to do is make sure the height of this whole element is uh, it's smaller like this and it hides behind all this. Perfect. And what we're going to do is we're going to hide this, hide these elements completely and we're gonna make sure that this is smaller and centered around this so it's it's sort of as if it's disabled or it's at zero percent uh that's the aim that's the goal uh, i'm just gonna put this yep and then this is fine this is this is absolutely fine yep and now if i click this this should come in place so I'm gonna quickly prototype this for you guys. So if I click on this whole uh, bar, it should come here and it should say uh, tap, auto animate. And you can select snap, you can select ease in, ease out, whatever you like. And I'm just choosing snap 0.1 seconds for the duration. And for this, what I'm gonna do is, I've already done this for you guys, is prototype this and I'm gonna put it here. And I'm gonna say drag instead of tap and uh, set it to snap and auto animate. And I'm gonna do the same for all of these. I've done the same for all of these, the identical thing for all of these. I'm just pushing it forward. And till the end, it just keeps on pushing forward. And if I want, I can just make it come back. At the end of the artboard, I'm gonna select this and in the first, drag it to the first artboard and say drag and snap. So it goes back to the original state if we pull it back. That's perfect. Now we're gonna try this out and see if it works, which it should, hopefully. I'm gonna click this. Yep, it animates as I wish. And yep, this is perfect. There you go, 100%. And if I just throw it back, it'll come back. Isn't that cool? Now, if you like this video, uh, do uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, do, uh, <laughs> also do go ahead and uh, share this video with all your design friends and like this video if you did. Also, whatever you want to see next or if you have any doubts or questions, anything, just uh, go ahead and post it down in the comments below. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Keep watching and have a great day. See you guys.